all of San Diego. This is your Fox 5 News. Raul, you can yes, enjoy dear. your fries with your burger. That's right. And still lose weight. Absolutely. Portion control, nephew. Our diet guru is here with food swaps that can help you get a slimmer waistline this summer. As the flames into the clouds. Who's still ahead on Fox 5? We're explaining why, Raul, listen. Yes. Adding butter yes. to your potato yes. can actually help you drop the pounds. Yes. All right, go ahead, put the butter on your potato because by doing so, it can actually help you lose the weight. Diet guru Robert Ferguson is here with simple food swaps to make your uh, waistline slimmer. Ooh. <laughs> did you just say put butter on your potato? Yes, I did. Believe it or not, when you add butter to the potato, you get more of the glycemic effect of chips, which means it's gonna impact your blood sugar less okay. compared to if you didn't have it. You're gonna have to break that down for me a lot more than that, but first, well, I mean, I wanna talk about your, your new book that's out. It's uh, called Diet Free for Life. Uh -huh. So what's the mentality behind this? Well, you know what, you can't get your body tight if you don't first get your mind right. So if you get the mindset in a healthy place, it's easier for you to win a race, okay. which means we can reduce our waistline. Now, if you decide to diet or deprive yourself or to restrict yourself, what happens is you actually have this hormonal release of cortisol that can actually hinder your ability to lose weight. Which is probably why people yes. on diets are like dieting so for no their more diet. No more diets. No more diets. No more diets. I go up here. freedom. Freedom. Okay. And so when you can eat the foods that you're going to eat anyway then and lose weight, that's where you want to be. I want to get straight to the food because okay. you have some foods that I think not only <laughs> I love, a lot of our friends that are at home love, and you're going to tell us how we can eat them. So yes. can you tell us why, how, what do you bring today? Well, well let's start with bread, our daily bread, because okay. most people don't believe you can eat bread and still lose weight, you and you can. can. Lose so I have four different types of bread here. I okay. have your rye bread, I got a dark rye, I got regular white bread, but the healthiest bread for reducing your waistline is this bread right here. It's called sourdough. How is that possible? Because sourdough has an acidity. It converts to sugar slower than most other breads and as a result of controlling your blood sugar it's easier for you to keep your body in fat burning mode and that's just that's a reality that's a truth okay now when we work our way this way to the pancakes pancakes are a great staple of the American nutrition habit right? <laughs> like that nutrition now, habit. if you're eating your pancakes and you combine it with protein like eggs or bacon or sausage then that protein is gonna slow down how fast that pancake becomes sugar okay and that butter that you talked about earlier yes it, that's a fat. That fat slows down how fast the pancake becomes sugar in the blood. Now that's a fat burning meal, but this is where we blow it. What? When you swap in the potatoes with the fast carb pancakes, that's how you're going to add inches to your waistline. So if you wanted something more, you would go with a slow carb like berries, strawberries, raspberries. And the same thing happens with the burger. See, the burger is a fat burning meal by itself, but when you eat bread with fries, you add to your thighs. You with me? Oh, my God. Say it again. When you add, when you add bread, bread to the, the fries, fries, you add inches your to your thighs. thighs. All right. So if I'm going to eat a burger and I want fries, then I'll go with the lettuce wrap. So you don't want to combine like this this type of like carby thing, a bread with another no. thing? No, but if I wanted something else, it could be a salad or I, I could see. have some beans, what I call a slow carb. And if you jump over to cereal, whether it's cold or hot, what happens is most people like to take a banana okay. and they chop up this fast carb banana into their cereal. Okay. You're going to probably gain some body fat because of the composition of, of the nutrition when it pertains to carbs. So you're calling them like fast carb, slow carb. Yes. Okay. It's something that I coin and phrase and it's something that's out there. But if I wanted, say, fruit inside of my cereal, okay. I would go with a slow carb, like strawberries, berries. So you can still have fruit in your cereal, hot or cold, grits, cream of wheat, you name it. You just want to make sure you're adding the right type of fruit so you can control your blood sugar levels. And that's the key. And if you find a product like this, okay. which I just came across, Fit Pro Light, which yeah. I love, yeah. this right here, I would use this instead of, say, regular milk. Why? Because it's high in protein. Okay. So now you take a protein, combine it with the fast carb, you got a fat burning meal that's diabetic friendly, heart healthy, adaptable for everybody. And it's a win-win. It seems a little complicated, no? No, it's very easy. It's Once very you easy. have the list, right? Protein, fast carb, slow carb, and the list is free. Go to my website. I love it. Dietfreelife.com. How, <laughs> how, how much of it is exercise versus food? Well, you know what? Exercise is a great way to boost your mood, to release those endorphins, to feel better about life. So exercise is key. However, it begins with food. Begins food, with food first, fitness second. Food first, fitness second. Michael, Robert, you feel better yeah. when you exercise? Yeah. 
Well, there you go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> thank you for being here. Again, this uh, book called Diet Free for Life. You're sticking around because uh, our shrinks are back. Ooh. Ask the shrinks. And you're going to oh. be talking about some food, addressing food questions that people have. Oh, I love it. Can't okay, wait. I'm going to go, Erica, put my question on why can I not put the french fries down? I love the french fries. We'll send it over to you.